So if your autoresponder right, keeps stopping and it doesn't work as intended to, and then you are wondering also, is this automation going to work for me? Am I going to be able to save my contacts automatically? Right? Am I going to be able to use this solution? So the answer is very, very simple. And the answer is yes, if you have all of the settings that I'm about to show you in this video. So the first setting that you're going to need that is, is to allow the, your, the application to auto start. So the application right here that we're going to be using for this test is autoresponder, right? There are other applications that we're still going to be using for this automation, but if we can set it up for autoresponder, we can definitely set it up for the rest. Depending on the phone that you're using, this might be different for you. I use a, an Infinix, right? This is an Infinix 4 gigram. Yours might be Techno, might be Intel or whatever phone. But if you use it, an Infinix Techno and Intel, you would most likely have a an application on your phone called phone master so i'd advise you to update this right so and then you come into the app and you need to look for a setting called uh, app launch right and this is it it would be different on your on your phone it might be auto start management it might be auto run it might be auto launch it might be whatever the functionality is still the same basically functionality is to make sure that an application can run in the background no matter what right and it can keep starting by itself if it has been closed so let's say you close this application by mistake it can start by itself without you having to go and open the application again so we click on app launch and then you need to make sure that that the application that we want to work every time the autoresponder is on allowed so you search for it and then you make sure that it is allowed now that it's allowed your this application will always be active even if you turn off your phone and then you turn it back on, it is going to start by itself. You don't need to go and open the application every time you start your phone just to get it working. Right. So once you've set this up, you go back. And if you don't use a Techno, an Infinix, or an ITEL, you are not going to get this. You are not going to have this uh, option in the. You are not going to have the application called Phone Master, and that's okay because uh, this is just like a shortcut for everything. So you go into your phone settings, right? You go into your phone settings and then you go and look for what's it called you go and look for uh you you can search right search and then just search for auto i think auto will just bring out all the auto and then you can see whether your phone is auto launch or auto run or whatever but since this one is app launch we can just search for app launch it doesn't show up here but still even if it doesn't show up here i'll just go back and then we'll go to apps and notifications and when we scroll down a little bit you would see app launch right here then start so you can just click it right here and then you turn it on but depending on the phone that you use yours might be a little bit different so you need to be a little bit creative and search for this in your phone so you you be on the lookout for uh settings that are app launch uh auto start auto run auto whatever right auto start management all of those things you need to be on the lookout for it and if you find it then you need to go and turn on the uh, what's it called you have to turn on for these applications and the next thing that you need to do if you found it is that you need to turn off battery optimization right and then you just come click on battery click on battery optimization down here right and then you click on all apps so it will show you all of the applications that you have on your phone. The next thing you need to do is just go and look for the application that we are trying to automate to keep active here, which is autoresponder, and then click on don't optimize. You're going to see my drain your battery more quickly, but just leave it at don't optimize. So that way your phone would keep this application alive no matter what is going on. So it's going to uh it's going to just stay active every single time. It's just going to stay active on your phone. And then next thing that you need to do, right? Once you've done all of these two, next thing that you need to do is go and lock the application into memory. So you come here and then you see the padlock at the top of it. Yours might be a little bit different, but you see the padlock. So you have to do is click on the padlock and then lock it. So once you lock it, even if you even if you try to clear it, it would not clear. You get. So once you've logged the app, then you've completed all of the traces that you need for this to work on your phone flawlessly. So now I'm going to do a test. And the test is going to be to try to save a contact automatically, which I'm going to be showing. I'm going to be here. I'm going to put this to a random name so it can show up in my list. I'm going to change this to, uh, let me change this to, uh, let me change this to, 
Gacha kuta. <laughs> gacha kuta. All right. This is the name of a, anime, a manga protagonist. Anyway, so I sent this message, right? And then you see this, and then you see Gacha Kuta added. And if I go and check my contacts, all right, let me just do this real quick. And then I search for Gacha Kuta. That's A it is, Gacha Kuta test, which is three, four, five, six, seven, seven, two, blah, blah. It is also the same here, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, two, blah, blah, blah. So here it is, here you have it. If you can find these three settings, which is uh, auto starts, right? And uh, the second one is turning off battery optimization. And then third one is uh, locking the application into your memory. Uh, you are good. This automation is going to work for you. So if you pass all of these tests and you use a phone with less than four gigram, this is going to work for you. So all you have to do, you can go ahead and make your purchase and you are rest assured that this was going to work for you. So yeah, that's that about that. Have a nice day. Cheers.